lifting up out of the pumpkin patch. Happy Vlogtober! I just finished my book. Oh my gosh. If you've been watching since like Vlogtober number four, I've been reading this book called Pachinko. The author's name is, hold on, Min Jin Lee. I encountered this book like five times before I actually read it. I follow Emma Watson on Goodreads. She read it. I went over to the page. It has a 4.26 star rating on Goodreads. If anything is over a four star read on Goodreads, the book is pretty much excellent. And then it shows up at the place that I work. And I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I should buy it. I pick it up and I start reading the book at my work. And I'm like, nah, let me not. So I put it back and then no and then no and then no and then no and then I'm on overdrive browsing through the book and I see it again so I was like all right I'm just gonna read it I decided to get the audiobook because I was gonna participate in the 24 hour reading challenge but I decided against it however I still wanted to read the audiobook it was my first audiobook I didn't think I'd like the audiobook but I do like the audiobook so anyways this book Pachinko it goes from the early 1900s to 1989 it's a historical fiction book that revolves around this girl named Sunja Sunja gets unexpectedly pregnant by this really really wealthy man named Cole Hansu and she brings shame to her family because they're not married. Cole Hansu is actually already married but he still wants her to be his mistress but she refuses the offer. Instead she takes up the offer from this poor minister to be his wife, give her child a name, and move to Japan together for a better life. So they move together to Japan and throughout this book you're reading about essentially four generations. I love the fact that you're also reading about the different cultures. It's not just Japanese culture that you're reading about in this book, it's also Korean and American. It's very very interesting to view like the differences in culture, how they eat, what they wear, how they act, and also how they view each other. This is before the war, during the war, after the war, the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You're seeing like all of them. You're reading about everything, what the effects have on the economy, what they have on the family personally. The synopsis from Goodreads quotes, Pachinko is a story of love, sacrifice, ambition, and loyalty, but I also want to add in faith. You know how there's a quote that says like you can only understand life from backwards, but you have to live it forward? That's exactly what you're getting throughout reading this book. And there's a lot of like domino effect type situations that happen in this book as well. This book was so, so, so beautifully written. I really wish this book had a series because I just read on and on from generation, the next generation to the next generation. The characters I felt most attached to throughout the book were probably Huni, Sunja, Cole Hansu, surprisingly, because he's like a very hated character in the book, but I really liked him, and also Zazu. It's so funny because you don't even know why this book is called Pachinko until you're like halfway through. It's a really, really brilliant title for this book. That being said, five out of five stars. I highly recommend this book. You can learn so much from it, and there's so many different themes. I'm finished the book. I'm gonna go get ice cream, so follow me. Under the 